So I got the question, which was very general, is online or offline learning better? And I don't even know where to start really with this question. I don't think one or the other is better or worse. And I'm sure there are teachers after the pandemic who are like, Catelyn, you're crazy. Online learning sucks. I hate it. And I, I understand why teachers feel that way in this moment. But online and offline learning both have different affordances, different benefits, and different challenges. So offline learning is so powerful because you have this opportunity in a classroom where kids aren't distracted by screens to connect them in conversation and collaboration, really social tactile tasks that we can't do in the same way online. But when we talk about online learning, there's also all of these wonderful benefits there too that I think are easy to overlook. The opportunity to self pace, the opportunity to choose a flexible pathway. Do I want to learn about this topic, reading this article, exploring this interactive website, listening to this podcast, watching this video. So, you know, online kids can expand text. They can add closed captioning. They can do all these things to manipulate information that might make it easier for them to take that information in. So anything that's really going to benefit from self-pacing and personalized pathways, online learning might offer wonderful options and avenues. But there's a lot of learning that takes place when we engage with other, other people and we share ideas and we ask questions and we discuss things and we problem solve and we work through shared tasks together that are beautiful offline. So for me, that's why I get so excited about blended learning is it's really the integration of active engaged learning online with active engaged learning offline to bring the best parts of both of those types of learning together.